highest ooh, Hi Squiz, this is Squeezy here with another uh, YouTube video, and in this video I will be going over hashing, more specifically separate chaining. Now, before we go on, what is hashing? Hashing is pretty much displaying data on a hash table, which you could use in hash maps. Um, I'm not going to do any code implementation, I'm just going to be doing theory in this tutorial, and in this tutorial, of course, separate chaining now. Um, what is separate chaining? Separate chaining is a way to handle collision um, collisions in a hash table. So if you have a hash table and you want to put in a value at a you want to map a certain value to another value. You'll see what I'm talking about in the next few slides where I do a demonstration. But um, what happens if you have two two um, numbers on the same key? We'll use separate chaining and or other hashing techniques. So separate chaining literally just puts the data with the other data. You'll see what I mean in a second. But if you don't want... Okay, so that's a problem. That's usually a problem. You don't want um, collisions, but separate chaining is how you put the data on the table, pretty much. And then we'll go into double hashing, linear probing, quadratic probing, and all of that things. But um, for now, we're going to look at... Or actually, um, you do this... Um, you use the given hashing equation to place the elements on the in the resulting slot, and you'll see it in a second. Okay, so this is the hash function. Um, h of x is equal to n modulo size, um, or modulus, not modulo. I don't know why I said modulo, but n modulus size. So what is n? n is the given element you're uh, inserting to the hash table. So suppose I have an array of unsorted integers, and one of those integers is 26. It'd be 26 mod the size of the hash table, which would say uh, I think mine is 9. Um, and, oh, and you will need a calculator for this. I'd like to say that. I have my uh, TI-84 calculator. Um, you could just use Google. Just do, and, you know. Um, anyways, so this is what the hash table looks like. And I'm going to say I want to plot these these um, numbers in this hash table. And you see, um, in a lot of pr computer programming, it'll only go up to 8, even though it's 9, because you have that 0 right there. So, why don't we go ahead and do the hashing? So, the first thing we want to know is, so the first thing we want to do is 30. So we know it's going to be 30 modulus 9 will get you the result. So let's uh, go ahead and plug that in. So, uh, math number remainder, okay, hold on, let me just, 30 and 9, we'll get you 3. So we put this at 3. There we go. Now we have hashed our... We have placed our first date piece of data on our hash table. Now what we have to do is 23 modulo 9. So let's do this. Math uh, uh, 20, 23 modulo 9. Get you 5. So, 23 will go here. Now, um, for those of you who are using TI-84, uh, how you want to do the remainder function, or the uh, modulus function in the calculator, it's, you don't have the percent sign. So what you do is, when you open up your um, calculator, you go math, uh, right arrow, 0, 23, comma, 9, and you should get your answer, which is 5. So now we move on to the next one. I made this list fairly short, so we do 45. Hopefully we get a collision so I can actually show you what the collision looks like, but uh, I don't know. Um, so F was it 45, 9. All right, so 45 will go here. And we can do the same thing for everything else. Um, math, right arrow, 0, uh, 67. And nine, get you four. And um, eighty-one and nine. Aha. Okay, so now what we have is we have a collision, and the collision is with forty-five and eighty-one. This is separate chaining. 
you put the 81 on with the 45. So now you have an 81 and a 45 on the same hash value, or the same um, key map. So in the later tutorials, I'll go I'll go over how to handle collisions. This is how you detect collisions is um, separate chaining. So that is all for well, actually hold on. Yes, that is all for this video, Squids. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff. Uh, please give me any questions in the um, comments below. And oh, check out my other channel, Squidco. Uh, I'm doing videos there. So yeah, thank you. Adios.